Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Kubi Carve folding knife. It's a flipper design. The blade has a sharpening choil, a sandblasted finish, and a pronounced sub tip. All right, it is a liner lock. It's got G10 handle scales. Now, the blade length on this, it's just shy of 3.6 inches. It is D2 tool steel, open pillar construction. You see the pocket clip there as well. There it is with its brothers and sisters. So Kubi is a very good brand that gives you a lot of budget options. Here is the weight, 116.5 grams, and in ounces, that is 4.11 ounces. All right, they call it the carve. Speaking of, let's carve something or at least whittle. Hope you're all doing well these days. I have to warn you, there is going to be some background noise, fierce winds. I want you to feel or at least hear what it was like at the creek on one of the windiest and uh, very frigid days of the year. Yeah, this is immersive. It's going to be an immersive experience here. This thing is doing pretty well at the carving. So I hope you're all happy and healthy in the new year. These In these times of rage, these times of trouble, these times of so social turmoil, these times of knife reviewers gone wild on YouTube in the last days. All right, just kidding. All right, it did a great job at the carving. Now here it is, cutting some paracord. I like the stylized blade on this, how it has like that, uh, that big fuller and the angles. All right, here it is on a strap for all your uh, free freeing you from bondage type needs. Rescue. Yeah, it goes through it pretty easily. Here it is on a piece of a box. It's pretty thick. So you got some utility function with this. Like I said, that's kind of thick there. All right, here it is, the knife in pocket. So it's got a pocket clip. It is a deep carry style of pocket clip. Seems to work well. It is skeletonized. There is a, a closer look at that. Here is the deployment and the flipper. The pivot on this is buttery smooth. The flipper has some jimping on it and it's skeletonized. And it just works really well. Yeah, basically it deploys like a dream. It does not require any wrist movement at all. Well done, pivot, flipper, deployment. Here's the initial sharpness with the old paper test. Okay, so Kubi knows how to make edges by now. I don't think I've ever got a bad edge on a Kubi. Final thoughts on this Kubi carve. Well, first of all, you should know that this comes in different colors, right? So you definitely, I, I like the uh, looks of the green handle scales that I saw. So check out the different colors. This is actually a very handy knife. The blade shape in particular, the pointed tip is good for starting cuts, so that could be used for something as basic as opening heavy bags of ingredients in a kitchen. The sub tip is used the same way you would use the tip on a utility knife. It lends itself to draw cuts. So cutting tape, opening a box, or just breaking down a box, that sort of thing. The flipper and the pivot make this very easy and convenient to open one-handed. The price is right. Kubi is a very reliable go-to budget brand. Definitely highly recommend them if you want a good pocket knife, but you don't want to spend too much. You know, a nice beater that still looks nice. So yeah, definitely recommend Kubi. I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.